that's what I don't like about y'all. Kim, I don't see why you have to leave. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. This is some bull This is some stupid ass All these bitches are fucking crazy. Famous words by Kim Zolciak Beerman from Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was so popular, they gave her her own show, Don't Be Tardy, and she's on the phone with us. Kim, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. We appreciate it. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, I know that you all have something in common, all of you housewives, regardless of whether you're from New Jersey or New York or Atlanta, because you feel that, that pressure. When you started your show with Atlanta, <laughs> Did you have any idea it would be what it is today? And how intrusive is it, really? I had no idea that it would ever turn into what it is today, um, especially, you know, with season one, it was so successful just in seven weeks, and my whole life changed. You know, you're kind of naive season one, but I really f feel that if you are not who you are throughout the – if I wasn't who I was throughout the entire – five years that I was on, you know, it can come back to bite you. And it's very intrusive. I mean, with the paparazzi and the media and, you know, I mean, people, they get in your business, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, I know you're all kind of like a family there at Bravo. Um, what what did, was your reaction or your, your first reaction when you heard the charges against the Judah Chase? You know, I don't, I don't have enough knowledge to really comment. I've just read everything and heard everything through the media like everybody else. And it's really, you know, unfortunate and sad. I do feel like these shows force people, in essence, to keep up with the Joneses. And what starts out as a reality turns into anything but reality on many occasions. And this is a prime example. You know, it's interesting. We talked to Jill Zarin last hour, and she said she believes that it started off, when the shows started off, it was very real, but now she thinks so much of it is manufactured. What do you say to that? I can only speak on Real Housewives of Atlanta, and a lot of what, what I did, you know, they can only show what you say and what you do. There's no part of me throughout the years that was manufactured or any part of my cast members was, that was manufactured. You know, this season of Housewives I'm not on, and I'm not sure how that's really going, but I definitely think that all of us do feel the pressure, you know, to quote unquote keep up with the Joneses to a certain extent. But for me, you know, I, I personally walked away. It wasn't to my highest and best to continue emotionally um, or for my own health to remain on the show. But, you know, I think, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, it's a very, very um, hard business to be in. You know, I, I have daughters. I have three daughters. And I'm wondering, do your kids do they, they're on camera, obviously, but do they watch? And do you talk about what you all see and what the cameras catch? Gosh, that's, very, that's been a very difficult thing for me I throughout bet. the years. When I first started, my girls were very young, so they didn't really know. Now I have a 16-year-old, so she's in high school, and high school is hard enough. Yeah. So Amen. when I you know, walked off last year, there was rumors that I got fired. So they were asking my daughter, did she get fired? Did she not get fired? You know, we couldn't exactly talk about the spinoff after the fact, but she's had some issues in school because of some of the things that have happened and been said. Um, I do watch the show before the viewers do, and I do try to screen my daughters from seeing certain things, but the media will dig it up. The media will talk about it, Twitters, Instagram, you know, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, you have to be very, honest with your children and you also have to be honest with yourself it's my real life there's nothing that i do that's not real all right and, and so we only have about we that. only have about 30 seconds but uh, any any good you know um heads up you can give us about tardy you know i i don't i don't i can't confirm anything at this point but um <laughs> Hopefully, the famous answer, right? Hopefully, <laughs> there know. will, you know, be a season three. Well, congratulations. So, Good luck you. to you and your Thank family you. as well. Kim, we really appreciate you being so candid with us.